this is just a body reading drill. Okay, so he's gonna throw the stripes. He can throw whatever the strikes he wants. Okay, oh, okay. And you're just gonna hit boom, boom. So don't go so fast that the stick doesn't start hurting. Okay, so boom, boom. And then you can reset the drum. Okay. Just reset it, we'll do it one at a time. Okay. You get kind of absorbed if that not gets hit you too far. Okay. Okay, so if uh, if I'm here he goes, right? Look, my lie is different. So here's that, stay there. And this is not where I throw that strike. Here. And he goes, boom! I'm out of here, not in here. Out here, okay? And so that strike, move your hand out of the way. Move out of the way. Boom! It's that strike. So it's not gonna be like this. Do you see? It's gotta go. You can do whatever. You can see, move it away, right? Not like this, go, same one. They gotta have a flight path, boom! Flight path, boom! If I don't want that, boom! You see the same flight path, come back. Right here, boom! Move out of the way, Okay, so not like this. There you go, boom! Don't worry about hitting his fist or his arm. He won't like either one. Okay, boom! So we'll do that one again. Do that elbow again. I don't know why someone would throw an elbow from out there, but let's say he did. And I check this hand. Boom, it's in range. I don't have to hit the hand that's coming out. I'm hitting this hand. Move out of the way. Boom! Not here. This hand. Boom. Here, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Okay. Try again. Okay, so again, you don't have two arts, so I always, he goes, I have to always clear the line. So I have to always clear the line. And then I always want the fight to rotate. So boom! I'm, he's going to have to turn to face me. And the fight's rotating. So I don't want to clear the line over here. You see? It's not much of a rotation. The fight hasn't started rotating. So always keep it rotating. Boom! And he's going to face me again. And the fight's going to be rotating. Boom! Then you got a couple choices here. So I uh, can hit the knee joint. I can try for some motor dysfunction if I hit deep enough in the thigh, okay? But hit somewhere where this thing's gonna have an effect on him. Then second or thirdly, go. It's not his turn, my turn. Happens at the same time. Boom! He strikes, I strike. Boom! Go. Not here, then I go there. So he strikes, boom, I strike. Boom. Okay? So let's just get in a, a situation, so keep it slow for now. And don't come in range of the, of the stick right away. Okay, so you're going to have to 
you have to start your attack from out there. He comes in again, I go boom, right? And then he's gonna try to grab the stick. You got it? I don't know if you hit it with the hand that I hit it with. Well, you wanna see? Mm. There you go, okay? And then you wanna engage, there you go, okay? Got it? Okay, so we're gonna do that one. He did that one, so what'd you, what'd you throw? Jab. So lead jab, okay? So I'm gonna hit the lead jab, whack! And he's gonna charge me, you wanna charge me, you get it? You wanna smother the stick. That's what I wanna learn what to deal with, okay? If you're gonna stay out there, right, boom! Then I'll just come in and beat the shit out of you. But you wanna smother the weapon, okay? But I don't want you to freak out. So he goes, boom, and he smothers the weapon. Smother the weapon, got it? Go, go, boom, smothers the weapon. So, whack. I'm gonna find the outside. That's gonna be my strategy. So, boom, smothers the weapon. I find the outside, you see? And then I move into the, into the spiral geometry. Boom, and Mothers, I find this, and then move further into the spiral geometry. He goes, boom, pop, here. Drives a little, and you do a fade. If he drives a lot, boom, I gotta turn. And I would like you to drive a lot, because the fade doesn't work. So again, his strategy is very common. It it's, would be the same one up around here, and he's peppering me, peppering, peppering me. I would come in and close the gap where I'm inside the eye of the storm of his strikes. So I have the weapon. And he does not want to stay in my weapon range. Uh, he has two choices. He can be outside the range of the hurricane, or he can be in the eye of the storm. So he had forward progress, right? Boom, and he's trying to smother the weapon, start trying to stop me from using it again. Otherwise, I'm gonna hit him again. So I'm just working on my transition. So we'll go slow. What? I'm out, I'm at weapon range and I keep the strategy going. So he's really pressing on me. Go back. So this is gonna be a turn. He goes and whoop. If he only presses a little, which isn't a very good strategy on him, I can give him a fade. So we'll find the outside. Don't come on the inside. Find the outside. Yield, boom. Boom. You're kind of forced as you get it going, boom, find his body, and you do all your cookie protection in the technique. So it shouldn't be a pain compliance, it should be a a Kofu projection. Boom, boom. But for now, boom, yield, boom, find the technique. You can leave it external for now. Boom, boom. Slower. He 
goes, find the outside. Hey. Okay, now just like the headlock technique slip, let's start working energetically. So I go in here, and he goes, and that energy should go right into the, uh, the CoQ projection line. Okay, so I go boom, he goes, and then I don't really have to do Nikyo, he does Nikyo. Okay, so this is me actively, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I want his intention to land him in, in Nikyo. So I'm, boom, he goes, up. He, he lands in there. I'm just holding it there. So, boom, whoa. Take that grip away. Boom. Oh. 